Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about something really amazing. So let me first show you what I'm talking about, and then I'll show you how to set it up. So let's go to my app drawer. Let's go into my calculator right over here. And what I can do with this one is I, I can resize this window just like you can do in a Windows PC. So all I do is I either go to the top right or top left and swipe inwards just like this. And now I have a window right over here, okay? And then I can go back home. I can continue doing other things as I please while this window can be on the screen. Or if I tap the home button, that little window minimizes into a floating little app button. So if I were to go to Chrome, for example, let's say I was doing something mathematical, I can tap on this, do my calculation, and then tap on this button and have it float again until I need it again. And of course, you can have multi windows just floating on the screen, just like this for extreme multitasking. All right, so let me show you how to set this up. But before I do that, let me just give, give a quick shout out to the person that sent me this tip. So that's Awesome Sauce 443 Barton T443 from Twitter. Thanks for sending me this tip. If you guys want to send me tips, just go to my Twitter and send me a DM. I'll make a video and you'll get a shout out. All right. So let me show you guys how to set this whole thing up. As you can see, it even works on Twitter. So what you want to do is you want to go into your Galaxy Store, okay? And you want to download GoodLock if you don't already have it. So go to search, oops, go to search and download the GoodLock application. Once you download that, you click open. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the multi-star module enabled, installed and enabled. So once it's installed and enabled, it's going to be clickable. You tap it, it takes you into multi-star. And all you want to do is you want to go down and you want to enable the pop-up view action, this option right here. After you enable this, at the bottom we have an option that says set pop-up gesture size. Take a look at what happens. You'll see the bars on the top left and right, okay? So you can change the area from where you can activate this whole thing. So let's keep it like this to make it easy. So basically I can activate this right from here or if I maximize this again, I can activate it from this side right over here. It's going to be up to you. But that's fantastic that they allow you to customize the area to make it more easy to launch. I think this is a good size. So once you do this, now you can go to any application, calculator or calendar or whatever, and you can swipe it down just like this. Uh, if you tap home, it turns into a floating icon. Or if you tap on this button, it turns into a flo floating icon. And then, of course, you can exit out or go back to full screen. Now, one more thing real quick. If I go home, let me go to the calculator application. I can have multiple pop-up windows just sitting on the screen. So you'll notice they'll be bundled together. When I tap it, it's going to expand and you can uh, choose the one that you want. This is absolutely brilliant. Now, there is more things you can do in the multi-star multi to enhance your multitasking but in today's video, based on the tip I received, I want to talk about the pop-up view action. So this is, in fact, a great little trick. Let me just minimize that. It gets bundled. And again, thank you, Awesome Sauce. If you guys want to get a shout-out, send me some nice tips on Twitter at Saki Tech Online. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, have a fantastic day, all right?